Praise the Lord, family, and welcome back to our channel. We pray that you all are doing well today. If this is your first time here, welcome. We are called the Robertsons. I just love doing that, putting our name on our hand. I don't know why. But anyway, um, in today's video, I'm going to let you all spend half a day with us. Yes, they're going to come into the Robertson home and see how we spend half a day. Well, how I spend half a day with our four children. Two of them do online work all day long and the other two are homeschooled by me so yes also i am starting this video after my morning devotion and i want to encourage you if you don't have a morning meditation or just listening to some instrumental music just something to get your mind together before your day starts i encourage you to i spend an hour in prayer and reading scripture and then I spend another hour with just meditating and I eat my breakfast at six o'clock in the morning and then I get my children up. So after this intro, you will see what I do after my devotion. <music> Look how he's sleeping. He's so handsome. All right, now let's go wake up the girls. The first thing I like to do when I first get up in the mornings is to open up all the windows to let the natural light shine through. And I just sit back and I look out the window because I love looking at God's glory. All right, now let's go wake up the girls. Yeah, they are asleep on the floor when they each have a bed. Wake up, girls. Come on. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Well, come on. Let's get this day started. Y'all know how our morning routine is. Amen. Oh, hot breath. Come on. The first thing we do every morning is to normally make up our bed, but because they slept in sleeping bags, they got their sleeping bags up, and now what I'm doing is anointing each one of them and saying a prayer of protection and to help them with school and things. And then they each say their own personal prayer to God. And once they are done with their prayer, they get up, they give each other hugs and kisses and tell each other to have a good day. And then they come downstairs and have breakfast. I always have out some little breakfast cereal or pop tarts just to make things easy for us in the mornings. So they can just grab their own breakfast, grab some juice, and go on and eat. Hi. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Say thank you, Jesus. You say thank you, Jesus. You ready for your morning milky? It's milky time. Look at my bed. Did you do this? Ooh, and I turned on the light. Ooh, wee. Now, I believe in leading by example. I can't make my children clean up if I don't clean up my mess as well. So, hold up, Xavier's drum solo. All right, now that that's over. <laughs> uh, one peekaboo. 
All right, now that that's over, I'll make up my bed as well <laughs> after I get them situated. Now it's time for us to get ready for school. So let's get this day started. This is Lanaya just saying hi. And Leanna saying hi, ready for school. There is Ayana and Xavier, ready to go back in their classrooms. Yay, let's go. Before we get started <laughs> on the learning part, we just had our circle time. I want to share with y'all how I teach. Okay, it's Lanaya, wait a second. Anyway, what I do is, um. I have this book over there that has all these little, uh, let me get it for y'all. This is the book. Um, get ready for pre-K. And it's a jumbo workbook and it has all, all type of, all that in there. And what I do is I put it inside of this, this clear sleeve. I don't know what they call dividers. Yeah, something like that. And I use a dry erase marker so she could trace over the numbers 2 and the letter B. That's our number and our letter for the week. And the reason I do this is because I don't like a lot of paper. It goes in the trash. And I also have this big boy. Say hi, Zavi. He will be going to school soon. So he's going to have to learn this stuff too. So after she gets done with her letters, I put them in a folder. Um, this is actually two papers on the back of the two of course, there's something else and on the back of the B is the letter C. And I put them in different folders, one for uh, numbers and one for letters, just to let anybody know that was trying to figure out how not to keep wasting paper. And uh, the marker comes straight out, let me show you. So I have my dry eraser, eraser thingy. Um, and you just erase it. And it comes straight out. And the paper never gets messed up. Just a teacher helping advice right there. I hope y'all enjoyed that chipmunk sound in my voice. <laughs> I sped up the video so I sounded like a chipmunk. Anyway, now it's time for arts and crafts. After circle time and education, just like a normal school day. And yes, my one-year-old knows how to handle glue because I sit down with them and I teach them what I taught him, you know. But anyway, he knows how to use glue and glue paper down. The good thing about letting children do their own artwork is that they they appreciate it more. Just like they doing right here dancing. They so excited. Now it's their playtime and it's about 10.30 and it's time for me to start cooking lunch. So I always try to feed the little kids or the younger ones <laughs> their lunch by 11.30. And at night I try to give them their lunch by 12 during their break time. And today's a special day. They get to watch a movie. They're watching the Bernstein Bears. And for lunch, Xavier got sausage, turkey sausage, applesauce, green beans, of course, juice, and a graham cracker. Mmm, applesauce and graham cracker, good. Okay, and Ayana has pizza. We had Pizza Hut pizza last night. And I have this pet peeve in my house that Whatever's left from the night before, we eat it the next day for a lunch. So, whatever's left from the night before, we, use, we eat it the next day for lunch. And because David can't eat cheese pizza, he has the sausage. All right, I'll let y'all finish y'all movie. Okay, uh, Xavier, no, 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 huh? Oh. All right. Anyway, so now it's time for the big kids to eat. And Xavier, Xavier, it's time for Xavier to go take a nap. We're gonna go upstairs, take a nap. He's like, no. So how was school so far this morning? I know, right? Now is the best time of the day, also the worst time. The, this is the only time of the day when I get a headache. 
is when I try to put them down for nap. <laughs> I'm trying to wing Xavier off of me. I do breastfeed him, and he don't like that mommy's trying to wing him out. He wants to nurse until he falls asleep. So that's another reason why I took the sound out of this part because he was hollering <laughs> the entire time. But anyway, parents, mothers, it's okay to let them cry themselves to sleep. I am perfectly fine with it. So here, here I am just giving him another little pat, telling him I love him, and telling him he better lay down and go sleep. So after I get them down for nap, I go downstairs to see if anybody need help with their homework. I encourage you parents to spend as much time as you can with them, but also let them have their own independent time learning. Because if they was in school, they still will have their own independent time. Amen. So now the girls are in their special areas. They are online all day long from 8.30 a.m to 2 p.m. with breaks and they love art and music so now it's time to wake up the little ones and of course I could tell Ayana's not asleep she's a mess and we just undo everything she puts on her foul crown she puts the bed back and let's get the Zavi Oh, he's really heavy, y'all. Now we go have potty time and snack time. And for snack today, we're having these fruit snack welches, hashtag not sponsored. They are 100% fruit snacks. Um, their main ingredients are real fruit, does not have traces of peanuts or dairy, and everybody can have them. And the girls are finishing up they work and we just waving by and Nayana's extra like always. Whew. All right, family. I really hope that y'all enjoyed the video today. And I hope y'all enjoyed those little chipmunk sound. What's that called? The chip the chipmunks, right? Alvin, Simon, and Theodore. What I did, I sped up the video. So the videos wouldn't be so long. <laughs> so I ended up sounding like a chipmunk. And I, it just made me laugh. So I hope y'all enjoyed it as well. And if you did enjoy it, please give this video a thumbs up. Hold up. Before I forget, if I could get this video to 15 thumbs up, I will let y'all know in. I'm sorry. I will let y'all in on a secret that the Robinsons are doing in December. Yeah, and y'all know I love to give away prizes and money <laughs> that I don't have. But anyway, if you enjoyed it, like I said, please give us a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, hit that red word under here that says subscribe and click on that notification bell so you will be notified every Wednesday when we upload a video. And like always, family, be blessed.